shortly, we will be joining hundreds of thousands here in Washington and in other marches around the country for the March for Our Lives. But before we do, it's my honor to turn this stage over to members of our community and some allies who've been tragically and directly impacted by the epidemic of gun violence in this country today. You know, many of them have truly become part of our family. Since that tragic night nearly two years ago, these individuals are part of our family. And on June 12th, 2016, our nation was shaken to its core by a tragedy that claimed the lives of 49 people celebrating Latin night at a popular LGBTQ nightclub in Orlando, Florida. As the tragedy at Pulse showed us all, hate can turn deadly when coupled with unfettered access to military-style assault weapons. What happened in Orlando made clear that for our community to truly be safe, and we need to do more than just stop the hate. We also need to stop the epidemic of gun violence that plagues this country. And that's exactly why just days after the attack in Orlando, working in partnership with gun safety advocates, HRC's board of directors took decisive action, and we proudly voted to stand with our allies in the movement and endorse common sense gun safety laws. But we can't only come together in the wake of a tragedy. Every day we have to muster the strength to fight with the same pride, courage, and unity that we saw after the tragedy at Pulse and now after Parkland. It's our responsibility to honor them with action. The individuals that I have the privilege of introducing to you today have shown enormous courage. Courage in the face of unthinkable tragedy. Christine Leinen is the mother of Drew Leinen, whose life was taken at Pulse. Brandon Wolf is a Pulse survivor and a friend of Drew's. Jose Ariagata is Drew's best friend. Ricardo Negron is the director of Project We Are Orlando. And Earl Crittenden is an HRC member and the chair of the board of directors for the One Pulse Foundation. Please take a look at this video as we remember those who were taken nearly two years ago.